You're welcome to solve for the value of x given this nice math problem, which is 64 to the power of x. This is equal to the square root of 16 times square root of 8. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we are going to solve this by applying two methods. Let's start with method 1. In method 1, we have 64 to the power of x. This is equal to square root of 16 times square root of 8. So the first step to do here, let's square on both sides. So that now we have 64 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2, which is 64 to the power of 2x. This is equal to, now let's eliminate the square root sign here. And this means we have 16 multiplied by square root of 8. The next step is again we square on both sides from here so that now this is 64 raised to the power of 2x multiplying by 2. Remember this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n times m. So this means we have 64 raised to the power of 4x. This is equal to 16 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by, let's eliminate the square root sign here. And this means we multiply by 8. We can express 64. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 4x. This is equal to 16, which is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2, then times 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. So this means we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 4x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2, which is 8, then times 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of, this is 6, times 4x, this is 24x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. Therefore, we have 2 to the power of 24x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3, which is 11. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, which is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. And this means that 24x is equal to 11. So let's divide both sides by 24, by 24. Now let's simplify 24 and 24, and that means that the value of x is equal to 11 over 24. Now this is the value of x by applying method 1. Let's proceed to method 2. Method 2. Now we have 64 raised to the power of x, this is equal to the square root of 16, multiplying by square root of 8. So this is 64 raised to the power of x, this is equal to, now, square root of 16 and square root of 8, this is in the form of square root of a, which you can express as a to the power of a half. Okay? So this means that this is 16, raised to the power of a half, then multiplying by 8, this is 8, raised to the power of a half, then raised to the power of a half. Here we have two square root signs. The next step is that this is 64, raised to the power of x, which is equal to, now, we can, this is 16, raised to the power of a half, 
times this is 8 raised to the power of a half times a half which is 1 over 4. The next step is that we can express 64 as 2 to the power of 6 then raised to the power of x this is equal to now this is supposed to be 16 sorry this is 16 to the power of a half so this is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of a half then multiplying by 8 which is 2 to the power of 3 then raised to the power of 1 over 4 now 2 to the power of 6 to the power of x 2 to the power of 4 to the power of a half 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 4 this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n times m so we have 2 to the power of 6 times x this is 6x which is equal to 2 to the power of this is 4 times a half which is equal to 2 then times this is 2 to the power of 3 times 1 over 4 which is 3 over 4 the next step is that 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4 this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m applying this exponent property then we have 2 to the power of 6x this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 over 4 so this implies that since the bases are common here that means that 6x is equal to 2 plus 3 over 4 6x is a whole number so this is over 1 2 is a whole number so this is over 1 so the LCM is 4 let's multiply everything by 4 so that now we have 6x times 4 this is 24x which is equal to 2 times 4 which is 8 then plus now 4 and 4 here simplifies so plus 3 so we have 24x this is equal to 8 plus 3 which is 11 so let's divide both sides by 24 and this indicates that x is equal to 11 over 24. So this is the value of x by applying method 2. So both method 1 and method 2 gives us the same value of x which is equal to 11 over 24. So let's verify if this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. We have 64 to the power of x. This is equal to the square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 8. Let's substitute the value of x so that we have 64 raised to the power of 11 over 24. This is supposed to be equal to 16. Remember this is 16 raised to the power of a half multiplied by this is 8 raised to the power of a half then raised to the power of a half so this means that 64 is 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 11 over 24 this should be let's check if this is the same thing as 60, 16 16 is we have 16 to the power of a half times 8 to the power of 1 over 4 a half times a half this is 1 over 4 so this is 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 11 over 24 this let's check if this is the same thing as now we can express 16 as 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times here we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 4 now this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n times m 
applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 6 times 11 over 24. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 4 times a half multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Now, here we have, let's simplify here, 24 divided by 6, this is equal to 4. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 4 and 2 here simplifies. So this is 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Now, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Let's apply this exponent property so that we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This should be equal to, this is 2 to the power of, now, this means that 2 is over 1 here. The LCM is 4 here. So this is 4. 4 divided by 1. This is 4 times 2, which is 8. Plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3. This is 3. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. This is 11 over 4. So we have that 2 raised to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 4. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of x here, which is 11 over 24, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.